What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are back at it with the bow fishing. A lot of you guys don't know, Blue Gabe and I came down here yesterday and we tried to bow fish. We're terrible at it. So Blue Gabe called in a professional. This is Brandon and his wife Cindy and they own Skull Hill Archery in the Okeechobee area? Yes ma'am. In Okeechobee. So he's going to teach us how it's done. Uh, we did some practicing before we came down here. It was probably about an hour drive from where we live and we were shooting at a two liter ginger ale bottle with a string with a lead. And first few times it took me and Cindy a couple times to hit it, but we eventually did hit it. I think it took you one or two times to hit the bottle. So <laughs> we are all warmed up and ready to go. So we're going to be looking for snakeheads, tilapia, cichlids, placos, pretty much anything we can shoot except largemouth bass. You're not allowed to shoot largemouth bass. So let's get to walking. <laughs> Probably don't have enough now. Just gonna jerk your bow into the canal. Let's go, Brandon. Just under. Dang. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. She's probably right tucked up under. They're her. big. There she is. Oh. If you see her, shoot her. Well, all the fry went with her. Uh -huh. Her her babies her are big enough where. I just seen her head. Her babies are big enough to where she doesn't have to sit right on top of them. Yeah. They just went right on like right where her nose was, right where I seen her. And she poked out to look. She's still under there then. Oh yeah. I see her tail. See the big black tail right there? Mm -hmm. But I cannot see her head. I don't know exactly. I can She'll see normally have orange lips. She is right. She's swimming now in underneath this. Dang, I should have worn a hat back there. You First shot? Oh my gosh. How lucky is that? Up here. I'm putting this down. This is messed up. We needed him yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Come on. Pull that thing up here. I knew we called you for a reason. Oh That's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, baby. Holy That's moly. what I'm talking about. Now that's a snakehead. Wow. <laughs> I knew I'd seen the tail. And he drilled it. You realize Perfect that that's shot. like the best eating fish there is? Really? That fish is that's so good. good to eat. I have I have yet to eat snakehead too. Well, now you do. That is so <laughs> exciting. These are, these are such incredibly cool fish too. They actually breathe air and they're super invasive here in Florida. You're actually supposed like, you don't have to kill them, but they, they want you to kill them just because they're so invasive here. You got some pretty sharp teeth. Honestly, yeah, they, they do. They do. They definitely do. That's sick. I can't believe that just happened. Listen, you guys, yesterday Gabe and I tried so hard to shoot these teeth. things and they were looking us in the eyes like, come shoot me, and we kept missing. I can't believe you just shot that. So I'm going to give you all a quick tech tip. I love the outdoors and I can do almost everything in the outdoors, but I'm not very good at bow fishing. So what do I do? I call somebody that's extremely good at it and will <laughs> learn from him. So don't ever let your ego and get in front of you and be embarrassed to call somebody for help. His first shot at a snakehead, it's on the bank. I didn't even see the snakehead either when he shot. I, I saw the fry. Oh, dang, saw the fry, I seen the tail swim and then she popped her head out. I just didn't know she was that big. Yeah, I seen this part, so I aimed right about here and it stuck right in here. Is that your first snakehead on bro? That's my first snakehead. It was awesome. Dang, <laughs> that is awesome. Let's get a picture real quick. You got a phone on you? Woo! Stay there. No, no, don't let him go in the water. Flip them that way. <laughs> They're tough. They are so tough and they are so hard to handle too. It's like handling a massive eel. Is this your phone right here? Yes. I'll snap it off. Babe, his ego is just... Oh, you already know. It should be. It should be because this <laughs> bow fishing, I, under us, I underestimated bow fishing. It is hard. I openly admit I'm terrible at it. You want to hold your bow? Yes. That's sick. Cool. Here, wow. come here and hold him sideways. Like that. That's why they call him a bullseye snakehead. Bullseye. <laughs> that's a beautiful, good eating fish right there. It's probably because that, that's supposed to resemble his eyeball. So if something tries to eat it, it bites the tail, not the head. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is, is the truck's just right there. 
Oh yeah, we open them on ice. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited yeah. to eat this thing. Oh, it's well, good. Oh, yeah, you reel it in. Y'all want to stay here? Right. I'll run it back. Is it just in the cooler? Yeah, just yeah. throw it in that cooler. I'll throw it in there. Brandon went ahead. He's walking to the truck to put that beautiful snake head on ice so we can eat that later. Right now, Cindy and I are up to bat. We're going to get our bows ready and start walking. This is your bow. Where's mine? Right over there. Somewhere. There you go. Two white you girls have big shoes to fill. Yeah, we do. We can hey. get bigger. <laughs> we'll get a bigger snakehead. You guys, snakeheads are one of the hardest fish I feel to catch in South Florida. The fact you just did that, incredible. So one of the main reasons why animals live where they live is because that's where their food is. If you look right over my shoulder right here, you see a bunch of baby ducks. Yep, snakeheads eat baby ducks. They're so cute. One of y'all smoked that big cichlid. Go, Cindy, go. You see it? Remember where you ain't. They're a little deep. Oh shoot, I have the shot that's been collected on it. Where's that? Oh. No, just Get him, baby. He's right there. Oh. Get him. Somebody. See, I need a hat. Oh, even in the middle of him. It's underneath the thing. Oh, you gotta look at that. Dang it, it's hard to see him with one eye. Where'd he go? He's right there in that little open area of the bubbles. I see his eyeballs. That was so close. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's just yeah, down there. Yeah, he, <laughs> he blended in pretty well. Boy, he gets it quick, don't he? Oh, man. <laughs> man Let me see. Drilled. Hopefully, it didn't get into a tree. Mm. So, it seems like mud, but. <laughs> there it goes. So, Gabe just pointed out some fry that are right on top of the water here, right on the bank. So, we're looping around. We're going to try to sneak up on them and see if we can't see the bigger snake head. Let's all get in a single file line right here behind me. Oh, it's going to be right there. Let me see if I can put eyes on it real quick. All right, the, the fry is right there. I can see the ripples. Look at the babies. Oh my gosh, look how big it is. Hold on, babe. Let me hold him the camera. Let him hold the camera here. Just make sure. You keep her centered. Let me film on my phone. It's a giant. They can't see you real well right now, so you should be good. Gosh, babe, that one huge one right there. Yeah, they're always two. <laughs> I could smoke that one. <laughs> you got this. Take your time. Oh, it's gone. Just free rants it. Just go with what you feel is right. Staring at you. Hold on, oh. hold on. Hold on. It'll, she'll probably come back. So, dang it. I was lined up perfectly, but my sight right here kept twisting and I was just like crap crap so I kept letting back down to see if I could fix the sight and I couldn't fix it and that snakehead just kind of swam down into deeper water so I think when we walk back up this bank she might come back to the edge again so we'll see. You want to show him catching that big huge iguana yesterday? Are you using that footage? No. So if you look over there across the bank that massive iguana Yesterday, while Blue Gabe and myself were epically failing at bow fishing, he snagged that big old iguana. It's pretty cool. I want to take him home, but we just don't have anywhere to put him. We got us a limb shaker. Look at this thing, he's pulling. That is hilarious. <laughs> he's like, what the heck I is that? Can't get him wrapped around the goose. Let him tail whip you. Oh, oh, I just broke 
Ooh. my favorite run. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's bring that one home for Luke. Luke just got him a new pet. It's so Ooh. docile for being so big. He just looked at me like he wanted to eat me. Look at that, the hook barely in him. Dang, it's strong. That's so sick. <laughs> Listen, you see that pipe? Come here and walk straight to that pipe. It, when it sees you, it's gonna be hitting the road. Yeah. I do a follow-up shot. You don't. Huh? We got Team Skull Hill up in the No. It's facing the bank. It's facing the bank. Sure it didn't blow out already? No, it's right there. Oh, good, good, good. I think you got him. No, it bumped him. Yeah. That was an insane follow-up shot, though. <laughs> All I did was give a, I just did a calculated guess of where it would yeah. go and hopefully it fell into it. Was it on a fry? I never saw no, it. No, it wasn't. It was by itself. Don't hit the rock. An angle. That's what I'm saying. Like, this angle is pretty good. Yeah. That might not even be a rock. It looks like a plastic thing. Yeah. Thing. Shoot him from right there. I think you took yeah. his scales off. Shoot his tail, babe, right here. Right. Try it. Right over him. Just to the left. Look at it. Look at where the arrow is. See how? Where you were aiming? Oh, yeah. See exactly how you know what to do. Dang. This play Oh, let me just give him a look real quick. Yeah. See the play go tail? That yeah. thing ain't moving. He's yeah. been shot at twice. <laughs> it might be dead. No. He just don't even know. He thinks it's a branch hitting the water, probably. All right, I'm going to pull this out without freaking him. Pull straight up. Sophia, you want to get a whack at it? I think it's dead. You literally on its he tail. Went through his tail. <laughs> There's no way that's alive. Yeah, no, I think right, that's on. a dead one. Catch it with your hand. That's what I'm doing. With its tail, but it was a good shot though, you know. Right in between the tail. Yeah. It is a plico, right? I don't know. <laughs> we like don't it. know what it is. Dang, it's a lot deeper than I thought. This is scary. Oh my god, something just moved on my foot. Oh, what the? Yep. He's it's dead. dead. Dude, it's rotten. Yeah. <laughs> that was stinky. Uh, oh, that was a good target practice. Yeah, good target practice. And me. Heck, I missed just to the left of it. <laughs> oh. Gosh, that stinks. <laughs> there he is. It's coming up. It's coming up to the surface. Oh, you skinned his noggin. Jeez. I'm talking right over his nose. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. Dang. That was it was a smaller snakehead and it was chilling on top of that rock right there. It's a funny looking rock. And he moved out from it because he saw us, so he's kind of like getting spooked. You gave me a reason to fear you. There we go. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh, I see the fry. Oh, okay, he just turned. He's facing us now. All right, you ready? There's two big ones. And a rock. You step up there too much and it's going to spook him. Right on that rock. Got, Got it! Him. Yes! Woo. Good Get job. Him. Hopefully he stayed on. Where'd he go? No, no. He slipped off. Uh, uh. No, he didn't. He's on, he's on, he's on. Oh my god! Yes! Yeah. Good job. Oh my wow. God. Yes! Nice. Holy moly. Good that job. was awesome. Good job spotting those out, babe. Holy yeah, way to go, Gabe. I can't believe I just hit that. <laughs> we got some viewers coming to see. What's up? 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Look, it didn't oh. even go all the way through them. Almost came out. Mm -hmm. Dang. Look, see how their eyeballs, they have like human style eyeballs. They are so strong. I do not want to have him flip back in the water. This arrow is just about to come out. <laughs> What's up? Have you ever seen these fish before? I, uh, my name's Lee Willis. I'm a property manager here. Does any of you live here? Uh, we're from down south. Down south where? Yeah, no, we don't live on the property. Okay. Then you can't be talking. Okay. Unfortunately. Right. Especially with weapons and, you know, I mean, they're fine for wherever. What is it? But you can't have them. Yeah. yeah. You can't have them. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. You don't know that? No. You own a bow. Good job. It's just nasty. No, ma'am. Sure don't. I'll let you do that. You should. Thank you. To eat. Yeah, I own other weapons. You cannot have them on open property. Anybody needs to eat. Okay, so can we move on? Yep, yeah. you sure can. All right. We're just going to throw them in the cooler and get on out of here. No, this is catch and release. No, this is actually an invasive. It's not legal to turn that fish around loose. That's why we're here, is killing non native snakeheads. Let me see your boat. Okay, okay. Let me see your boat. Yeah. Very, very basic. Very, very basic. You got it? No. You got it? That's next. It's open season. Three fifty. What kind of fish is it? A snakehead. They're hard to hold. Yeah. There we go. I got him. He ain't going anywhere now. But they said it tastes really good. My first snakehead ever. I haven't even caught a snakehead on rod and reel yet, but we just bow fished them. I think this makes up for yesterday. This is redemption. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put him in the cooler and go look for another spot, hopefully before the sun goes down. Oh, is that okay? So let's get ready to have a toe. All right, well. All right, cool. Cool. Good deal. Babe, whose truck are you riding home in? <laughs> Your brand new truck. At least I brought a different shirt. It actually didn't get too bad. I'm so stoked right now. All right, we're gonna put him in the cooler. I'm actually really excited to eat these guys because I've never had them before and I heard they're just absolutely delicious. We got a nice little ice brine here. All right, go for a swim, little guy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I guess we're gonna go get some Cuban food now. Hold on. Listen, don't be stealing my plantains. How do you say the name of this Cuban restaurant? Michi La Cubanita. Cuban restaurant. Michi La Cubanita. There you go. Hey. <laughs> you guys, we successfully bow fished our snake heads. It did get dark a little faster than we expected, but hey, at least we got two snake heads before we got kicked off the property. Blue Gabe stealing my sweet plantains. We're gonna go ahead and eat some really good Cuban food and then head back home. Tomorrow I'm gonna cook up this snake head. I'm not sure how yet, but y'all will find out. Be sure if you guys are ever in the Okeechobee area, if you wanna get into bow fishing, archery hunting in general, check out Skull Hill Archery. Skull Hill Archery. I'll have everything you need to know in the description below this video, as well as a link on the screen. But right now, we're gonna eat. It's the next day guys and we're gonna go ahead and clean this snake head now. This kind of reminds me of cleaning the cobia because they have such flat heads and when you turn them on their side it's kind of awkward because their body's gonna bow down because their heads are so flat. So I went ahead and pre-descaled this entire fish just because their scales are super super hard. I'm just gonna clean it like a normal fish. Their heads are so chunky. I have never cleaned a snake head. I've never even eaten one, so I'm super excited to see how it's gonna taste. I heard they're amazing fish to eat. They're actually not native to Florida at all. A lot of our fish in Florida actually are very invasive. These snake heads came from Asia. Let's see where his backbone is. There it 
I'm assuming people bought them for fish tanks and probably released them as well as they brought him over here for us to eat. So that's why we're eating him today. Look at that meat though. <clears throat> I was not expecting the meat to look like that. That is beautiful meat. Look at that. This fish, when I brought it out of the cooler, was so, I've never seen a fish so slimy. Look at that. That's crazy. That's a, that's a pretty long fillet. It's like as long as my arm. All right, we're gonna go inside and I'm just gonna pan sear this super simple because I wanna see what the fish tastes like. All right. Super simple, like I said, I want to taste the flavor of the actual fish. So I'm only using butter, salt, and a little bit of garlic. So this, this piece is pretty thick, so normally if I do pan sear fish, I'm gonna butterfly it. Which is just pretty much cutting the fish in half long ways without cutting yourself. See, butterfly, boom. That is some beautiful, beautiful white meat. And I'm honestly, I, I'm gonna be real, I'm not a big freshwater fish person. I just, I didn't really grow up on it. So it kind of spooks me a little bit, but looking at the quality of this fish meat, I'm honestly not scared at all. Put that in that butter. Turn it down a little bit. Mm. I love the smell of crispy butter, it's so good. Oh, so that should only take probably about four minutes. That's pretty good. I bet it tastes better than that long tail bass. Yeah, the long tail bass did not impress me. So Gabe, who's behind the camera, caught a long tail bass, which it sounds like freshwater, but it's actually a really deep saltwater fish in like 500 foot of water. Really pretty fish, red, yellow, like beautiful fish. And it looks like it would taste delicious, which it was very good, but not what I was expecting. It just kind of, it just kind of dissolved in your mouth. I wouldn't say fall apart. I would use the word dissolved in your mouth. This one looks pretty tough. Not tough, but I always stick the corner of my spatula in between the striations of the fish to see if it's done or not. And if it pulls apart like super easy, that means it's done. All right, last piece. I went ahead and took the skinnier piece off first for obvious reasons, it cooked faster. So let's give it a try. It's pretty like, it's a pretty steaky fish. I kind of thought it was going to fall apart a little bit easier, but it's pretty steaky. Let's see. It's good. I honestly can't compare it to any saltwater fish. It's different. I can't, I don't know what that taste is. Mm. I don't know, I'm gonna need a second opinion. A little bit of fertilizer mixed with a little bit of pesticide? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Give it a quick little taste. I always, if I cooked it, I would've put it in vinegar. Cause it's a freshwater fish, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but there's something about it that I'm like, eh. But if you put it in vinegar That's first. That's better to me than snapper. Yeah? Heck yeah. Doesn't even have a bit of fishiness to it. No, it's not fishy. It's just a different... That to me is the texture so much better. It's different. It doesn't have a fishy taste. I just cannot describe it. And I'm really good at describing stuff and I can't describe I don't, it. I'm not tasting what you're talking about. That tastes to me just like a really good piece of fish. Like not even being like... No, no, yeah, it's good. That no, is it's really good. good. It's good. I would eat that whole, y'all never see me try anything more than like once. 
It's, I think because I, I mentally know it's fresh water. Let's get Jake's opinion. He's probably, he'll be real. All right, go get Jake. Because he doesn't know anything. True. Come here and try this fish and tell us what you think. Don't chew it up and swallow it in 1.3 seconds. Taste it. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Really good. What fish is it? Did you see us cleaning it? No, but I didn't know what fish it is. Oh. <laughs> Sneaky. You made me put the ice in the cooler. <laughs> I did. Was it good? That was I'm pretty telling good. you, I told her it when is we. Pretty good. It I told her good. yesterday when we went. Snakehead is probably. To me, the best eating fish there is. I, I don't see a fish being any better than that. No fish. There, I have, I've been trying to get like an aftertaste like and a, you can't. The salt and butter does overpower it, but it's good. No, it is good. It's a good fish. So. Thanks, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a positive comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.